if r bar is a vector satisfying lambda r plus r cross j is equal to b where lambda is a scalar and a and b are two given vectors we need to find r bar it is given that lambda r bar plus r cross j is equal to b let us apply dot product with a on both sides lambda into r dot a plus r cross a is a vector perpendicular to a bar so r cross a dot a would be zero is equal to b dot a which in turn implies r dot a is equal to b dot a divided by lambda let us call this result number one now let's apply cross product with a on both sides of this equation lambda into r cross a plus r cross a cross a is equal to b cross a or using the definition of vector triple products r cross a cross a is r dot a which we proved that it is equal to b dot a by lambda into a bar minus a dot a is a square into r bar plus lambda into r cross a is equal to b cross a let us call this result number 2 from the originally given equation multiplying this with lambda lambda square r bar plus lambda into r cross a is equal to lambda b bar subtracting result number 2 from the given information we have minus of b dot a into a bar by lambda plus lambda square plus a square into r bar plus these two they get cancelled 0 is equal to lambda b bar minus b cross a minus b cross a can be written as plus a cross b so we can say r bar is equal to lambda b bar plus a cross b plus b dot a into a bar by lambda whole divided by lambda square plus a square and this is what we are supposed to prove let a b c be given vectors in space with a dot c is not equal to 0 and m b any given scalar find d which satisfies d cross a is equal to b as well as d dot c is equal to m this question can be approached in two ways one assuming d bar to be a linear combination of a bar b bar and c bar d bar we can assume it to be x1 into a bar plus x2 into b bar plus x3 into c bar and applying the given information we can get the values of x1 y1 x1 x2 and x3 alternately d cross a is given to be b and d dot c value is also given so let us find cross product of this vector on both sides with c this is equal to b cross c d dot c this vector triple product is equal to d dot c which is m into a bar minus a dot c into d bar equal to b cross c or simply we can say that d bar is equal to b cross c minus m a bar divided by a dot c let us look at the second part with a similar working it is given that r minus c cross b is equal to 0 and it is also given that r dot a is equal to 0 so let us find cross product with a r minus c cross b cross a is equal to 0 which implies r minus c dot a r dot a is 0 minus c dot a into b bar plus a dot b into minus of the vector c minus r is equal to 0 or from here we have r bar is equal to minus c dot a into b bar plus a dot b into c bar divided by a dot b or it is c bar minus c dot a by a dot b into b bar prove that i cross a cross i plus j cross a cross j plus k cross a cross k is equal to 2a let us use the definition of vector triple products i cross a cross i is equal to i dot i which is 1 into a bar minus i dot i i dot a into i cap similarly j cross a cross j is equal to j dot j into a bar minus j dot a into j cap then we have plus a bar minus k dot a into k cap we can see a bar a bar and a bar which makes it 3 a bar minus a dot i into i cap plus a dot j into j cap plus a dot k into k cap now a dot i is i component of a a dot j is j component of a and a dot k is k component of a so we have i component of a into i cap plus j component of a into j cap plus k component of a into k cap which is nothing but a bar itself so the vector result is 3 a bar minus a bar which is equal to 2 a bar if a b c are non-zero vectors of which no two are collinear or perpendicular such that a cross b cross c is equal to a cross b cross c then prove that c cross a cross b is equal to 0 now a cross b cross c is a dot c into b bar minus a dot c 
a dot b into c bar this is given to be equal to a cross b into a cross b cross c which is a dot c into b bar minus b dot c into a bar cancelling these two we have b dot c into a bar minus a dot b into c bar is equal to zero let us call this result number one what we need to prove is c cross a cross b is equal to zero which is as good as proving b dot c into a bar minus b dot a into c bar equal to zero now if we compare this with result number one we have b dot c into a bar minus a dot b into c bar is equal to zero so we can say that c cross a cross b is equal to zero and also that the vector c cross a is parallel to the vector b bar if a dash is equal to b cross c by box abc b dash is equal to c cross a by box abc and c dash is equal to a cross b by box abc where abc are non coplanar vectors then prove that box a dash b dash c dash is equal to 1 by box abc and also prove that box a dash b dash c dash is not equal to 0 we can see a reciprocal system of vectors here a dash is equal to b cross c by box abc b dash is equal to c cross a by box abc and c dash is equal to a cross b by box abc box of a dash b dash c dash is equal to we can take 1 by box abc common 1 by box abc box product of b cross c c cross a and a cross b we know from vector results that box of a cross b b cross c c cross a is equal to box abc whole square and also when we take box abc common from each of the elements we get 1 by box abc from each of the three rows so this comes out to be 1 by box abc whole cube so this result will be equal to 1 by box abc we have used two properties here 1 box of ka kb kc is equal to k cube into box abc and second box of a cross b b cross c c cross a is equal to box abc whole square these are very two important properties of box product if abc are non coplanar prove that a cross b b cross c c cross a are also non coplanar to prove any three vectors are non coplanar it is necessary and sufficient that their box product be non zero so box of a cross b b cross c c cross a it is equal to box abc whole square and if a b c are non coplanar box abc would be non zero thereby box a cross b b cross c c cross a is also non zero so a b c are non coplanar implies a cross b b cross c c cross a are also non coplanar if b bar is equal to a cross i cross a plus a cross j cross a plus a cross k cross a and a bar is perpendicular to i plus j plus k then prove that modulus of b is equal to root 3 into mod a square b bar is given to be equal to a cross i cross a plus a cross i cross a can be simplified as a dot a which is mod a square into i cap minus a dot i into a bar plus a square j cap minus a dot j into a bar plus a square k cap minus a dot k into a bar which is equal to a square into i plus j plus k minus a dot i into a bar plus a dot j into a bar plus a dot k into a bar if you take a bar common a dot i plus a dot j plus a dot k is given to be 0 as a bar is given to be perpendicular to i plus j plus k so b bar is equal to a square into i plus j plus k or applying mod on both sides mod, bar, mod b bar is equal to a square into modulus of i plus j plus k which is root 3 so we have mod b bar is equal to root 3 into mod a square Prove that a plus b cross a plus c cross b cross c dot b plus c is equal to 0 if mod b is equal to mod c. Let us first handle 
the vector triple product in this it is equal to a plus b dot b cross c into vector a plus c minus a plus c dot b cross c into vector a plus b and this we have dot product with b plus c a plus b dot b cross c is a dot b cross c which is box a b c plus b dot b cross c which is zero so this is box a b c into a plus c minus a plus c dot b cross c is box a b c plus zero box a b c if i take common i will be left with a plus b minus a minus b dot b plus c so we have box a b c into c minus b dot c plus b which is equal to c square minus b square and as mod b is given to be equal to mod c this dot product would be 0.